might never come down Cause the coast racking up the flame out So high, might never come down So what, uh, this is my lifestyle Look, look Pocket rocket in my pocket, please don't make me pop it All these budgets wanna cop it to side, tell them stop it Whoa, whoa, this my destiny, for the like Latoya Like it found me, my Beyonce, and she shotgun in the cockpit uh, Riding with the team, making C notes In my pocket still full of green, call it CeeLo Alligator watch on me, Tim Tebow And these haters love to watch me like Tebow uh, Look, I don't take L's, I just learn a lesson uh, Before I count the M's, always count my blessings Look, I'm too short, sure, never second guessing Got some money, put up for the rain, so I'm never stressing uh, Fast lane when I pass in the street, bag of money in the passenger seat Sent foes, been asking for me On the road from the west to the east Way up, I might never come down Cause the coast racking up the flame miles So high, I might never come down So what, this is my lifestyle Fast lane when I pass in the street Bag of money in the passenger seat Sent foes, been asking for me On the road from the west to the east all right, so Hot Toys kind of shit the bed on the USB lightsaber functions. I mean, come on. This is our first version we got from them, which, to be fair, we knew it wasn't going to be fantastic. Uh, but I, I kind of hoped it a little bit more than this. I mean, you guys saw this. It's 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 currently on. It's currently on. This one's also currently on, which is obviously a lot better. But you can see, like, you can barely... Yeah, you can, yeah, there's not a whole lot going on there, right? Now that we know what Hot Toys is actually going to be delivering with their USB function lightsabers, we can go ahead and, and throw these out the window. These are just complete garbage. Number one, I would be okay with the wires if this wasn't such crap. This is the one from the Grand Inquisitor. If you haven't seen that uh, unboxing review, I'll put a link up there. You can check that out. This is going to be a very short video, but we've got our normal regular sabers here unlit. And then we've got our lit sabers. You guys tell me the difference. What's what's the difference? Uh, nothing, Bare, barely anything. If I kill this light, you can see it's right here. It's, it's you know, what's the point? Why mess with it? So there's that. Uh, then there are CCFL sabers, which are bright, but they also give off heat and then you've got gas issues. It's, it's a thing like leaving those things on for a long period of time, there's, there's, Concerns. However, my friend Hendra over at Fusion Reactors sent me something. Now, to be fair, I've had this for about two months. <laughs> I've, I've had this for about two months, and I was kind of hoping Hot Toys would finally deliver the USB function on theirs uh, before I release this video because I wanted to compare and contrast and say, hey, is something like uh, the Fusion Reactor Saber, is it worth it um, for the expense? Uh, and would it look better than the uh, Hot Toys version? I think the uh, overwhelming answer is, hell yes, it looks way better. I mean, no question about this. Uh, but Fusion Reactors has done a collaboration with another fella uh, whose name is Darren. I'll put a link in the description to his Instagram. He's actually resin printed the, uh, the, uh, the saber hilts and then uh, painted them and did all that kind of fun stuff. And then we've got this. Now, um, these are not going to be, and like on some of the CCFL sabers, what they'll do is they'll take a... Uh, a proper hilt like this, and they'll uh, cannibalize it a little bit and then wire it and all that kind of fun stuff. For me, I don't really care too much. Uh, I, I don't really want to destroy a Hot Toys hilt. I, I have a lot of them, but I really don't feel like, you know, drilling a hole in it, wiring all that, and which is fine. I, Me personally, I don't want to do that. Um, so I'd rather just keep them like this. And of course, you, you got a removable blade and you might want to display your figure without the light up saber. Anyways, so there's that. So what typically happens with those is you have to find one of these, buy one of these, send it off, have it done, and then uh, wait on to get back, which is which is fine. Um, however, um, th what they have done at uh, Fusion Reactors is they have taken, which I'm going to assume, I don't really know the answer to this, but I'm going to assume, which is a, uh, a Cobb LED strips uh, circuit on board, uh, LED strip. If you haven't checked out my latest uh, Death Star diorama video I'm working on, you'll see the difference between say, uh, lights. I'll put a link up there for that if I remember to do so. Um, but based on what I'm seeing here, it looks like a Cobb on our center on board uh, LED saber, and they've wrapped it in some kind of wrap, uh, depending on what color um, you know saber you're dealing with. This is the Darth Vader saber they sent me uh, to check out. And clearly, it is pretty freaking awesome. I'll turn the lights off one more time for this. You can see the difference. This is what we got going on. Now, one of the cool things about this is there is zero heat. I mean, none. I I've had this thing on for a good minute. Uh, there's no heat whatsoever. It is plenty bright. Uh, and uh, it works just fine. And it just got this little USB plug. 
goes into, I just happen to have a USB hub. Uh, and one of the things they talk about is, uh, one, it doesn't give off a lot of heat. Number two, obviously brightness. This is the theirs versus hot toys. I mean, it's not even, not even it's not even a fair fight to be quite honest with you. Length of it looks great. Uh, the light up feature goes throughout the whole end. And, uh, and it's again, USB, there's a cable, no big deal. Um, now, this particular hub I've got from them uh, is Bluetooth enabled, so I can actually turn it on and off with Bluetooth. I have an app and I can turn it on and off. I can power it, that kind of fun stuff. Uh, you have to check out their Instagram and I'll put all that link in the description below if you want to get info on this stuff. Um, the paint application on the Sabre Hilt, I mean, it's it's... You know, it's okay. It's acceptable, but to be fair, you're going to have a hand on it. You're not going to see it anyway, so I don't think that's that big of a deal. Uh, it's not up to Hot Toys quality uh, as far as that goes, but I, I don't care, honestly, for this. For this feature, I want to be able to look at my display, and I want to see a whole bunch of lit up sabers, and I want it to look awesome, and the fact that this isn't painted like as good as a Hot Toys one, it doesn't matter to me. It really doesn't, but I will show that to you. Let's see if I can do this here. Um, you got to see here, this is what I'm talking about. The paint applications going on here. It's a little rough on the paint application, obviously versus a hot toys one. Um, and you know, it's fine. Not a big deal. You're not, you're not paying for that. Uh, but that's my thought. This is a very short video. It doesn't really scream like it, it needs an hour long video. It's very short. Uh, obviously fusion reactors does the button cell, uh, uh, connections for Ironman features and other, other, uh, Characters like I had one for Mysterio. That was pretty cool. I got Hulkbuster hooked up and all that stuff. If you wanted to just turn on a button to turn everything on and not to worry about it, you do have to hide the wires, which is fine. Uh, these are braided super, super thin, and they're very easy to hide. In fact, you can barely even see them on camera, I bet. Or you see it right there, barely. And it's plenty long. Like this is, I don't know, it's probably probably three feet or so. Of, uh, of cable, so you got plenty of cable, which is definitely longer than you get with Hot Toys, which is about 12 inches. And then you've got to deal with the whole extra, anyway, that's a thing. Uh, but that's my thoughts. Hendra, uh, Fusion Reactors, Darren, guys, you did a great job. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Would you be picking one of these up? Would you not? Are you happy with the Hot Toys version? I don't know, probably not. As always, click for do like, see you next time.